Welcome to this video on smartphone apps for engineers. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers for a better more sustainable world. Smartphones today are ubiquitous. Nearly everyone has them. What makes a smartphone more unique and powerful compared to computer or laptop is the amount of sensors they have inside of them. A smartphone can have up to six different sensors inside it which include a magnetometer, a barometer, a hygrometer or a humidity sensor and a proximity meter. With the help of these sensors several parameters can be measured and recorded. Furthermore the processing power, the display capability and touchscreen response can allow engineers to design and create straight on their phone. There are seven different areas where a smartphone can aid an engineer. They are as follows. Number one, CAD or computer aided design. Number two, CAE or computer aided engineering. Number three, tachometry or measurement of revolutions. Number four, telemetry or measuring distances. Number five, thermometry or measurement of temperature. Number six, inclinometry or measuring the angle of inclination and number seven magnetometry or detection of magnetic field. Let's look at each of these applications individually and also explore the available phone apps in these areas. CAD or computer aided design allows engineers to virtually create an object before manufacturing it. Once the CAD model is complete engineers can test its structural integrity and also test its functionality other than checking that the part will be able to assemble and fit its surrounding parts or not. CAD is not only carried out for just mechanical component but also carried out for electrical electronics and building design. There are several apps available on phone that allow engineers to do 3D CAD. These include Autodesk's app called Autodesk 360 Another popular app is FingerCAD but it is only available for iPhone. Likewise, there is also DWG FastView that is widely used by civil engineers. Moving on to CAE or Computer Aided Engineering, we note that CAE is basically trying to check the functionality of a design part using computational methods. Its application requires huge amount of processing power. For very small components however, a crude CAE analysis can be carried out on your phone. Apps like Lucid FEA allow setup, solving and post-processing on phone. At present only FEA apps are available, CFD apps are not available because of the lack of CPU power and RAM on phones. There are also several post-processing apps available for phones, for instance FEA View 3D. And now we move on to telemetry. Telemetry means measuring distances. Smartphones can measure distances by two different methods. First through the reflection of light and second through the reflection of sound. The app Smart Meter is of the first type and measures distances using the reflection of light. Similarly, distance can also be measured by the reflection of sound. The app called Sonar uses a ping sound to measure distance from an object. And this brings us to thermometry that relates to measurement of temperature. There are several apps that allow the measurement of temperature. They can provide indoor and outdoor temperature as well as your body temperature. However, the rise of temperature of the battery inside the phone affects the outcome significantly and the sensor in the phone often does not provide accurate readings. The temperature measurements can be off by as much as 6 degrees. It is therefore paramount that the battery temperature inside the phone is equal to the room temperature for the apps to work accurately. There are accessories that can be attached to the smartphone that will give it the ability to produce thermal images. FLIR, the leading thermal image camera manufacturer in the world for example, has a phone attachment that is available for both iOS and Android platform. This attachment costs around $150 but gives your phone the ability to produce crystal clear thermal images. Next up we have inclinometry or measurement of angle. Very common items in civil engineers toolbox are bubble level and a plumb bob. 
and apps like Bubble Level are extremely useful that use phone's internal gyroscope to provide data on horizontal and vertical alignment. Most apps provide this information fairly accurately. Similarly, slope angle can also be measured by placing the smartphone on any inclined surface. Apps like Accurate Altimeter can also provide elevation data but require an internet connection in addition to the barometer sensor inside the phone. Lastly, we have magnetometry, meaning the measurement of magnetic field, which has many uses. The magnetic field of Earth can provide geo-orientation and the phone can be used as a compass. The magnetometer inside the phone can also be used as a current sensor. Although not very accurate, but the phone can detect with ease any wire that is transferring more current than any other wire, without the need of probes. Furthermore, magnetometer can also be used to detect metal or differentiate different materials. Interestingly, smartphones can also be used as oscilloscopes. They can be hooked to a car's computer to find out fault codes. So this wraps it up. We looked at seven different areas where smartphones can be used by engineers and we also showed you the respective apps. If you have learned from this video then please do like it and share it. To further receive similar videos please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention.